Hi right, guys, welcome to another session. Um, today we'll be doing inverse matrices. Guys. Today we'll be doing inverse matrices. Today my mood is, is very high, it's very nice. I hope you guys are going to make it. Yeah, keep it like that. Um, yeah, guys, today we'll be doing a very important uh, aspect of matrices called the inverse matrix. Okay, I'd like Come here again, guys, to another session uh, or oh, inverse matrix. In inverse matrix. Okay. Uh, let us not, yeah, we don't have much theory to go uh, uh, through with this one, okay? Uh, we just have to yeah, practice a lot, okay? We need to practice a lot. And especially with these type of questions that we are going to take in now. Yeah, hey, it needs you to practice a lot, okay? So, uh, let us just go through and uh, have the, the basic idea behind this, okay? The basic idea is every time when you're given a matrix A, suppose that the matrix A is a two by two, given by A, B, C, D, okay? When you want to find its inverse, written as A inverse, some books they write it as A, yeah, A, yeah, A, I don't know what to call this. It's not A's derivative, but it shows the inverse, okay? But uh, more likely we like to use this one, okay? A to the negative one, which correlates to the function inverse. You remember the functions inverse, okay? So with this particular case, we like to use uh, this one to denote an inverse of the matrix, okay? Now we're going to use a certain rule, okay? The rule that says that for us to find A's inverse, we need to have A, then have its augmented matrix with I2. I2 is just what we call the two by two identity and it's given by one, zero, zero, one, okay? And another trick that I want to tell you about is uh, 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 always, né? when you multiply a matrix by its inverse, you're always going to find, or oh, only for a two by two. For now we are dealing with the two by two, I'm saying, not only for a two by two, but when you multiply a matrix, it's inverse, it always gives you its identity, okay? Let me write it like this, such that it doesn't interest us at all. It's always equals to its identity, okay? What I mean by a two by two matrix is that when I multiply this uh, uh, a matrix by its inverse, I'm always going to get I2. We're going to check if that is true, okay? Now, let me, okay, let me take an example from your textbook. Let me take an example. Uh, uh, the difference is the same. The same is the difference. Uh, let me see. Oh, let me start by two by two. Uh -huh. Let me start by two by two. Okay, two by two. Let me take this example over here. Uh, it says that uh, yeah, we need to find the inverse of A is equal to A. Okay, so let me write it down. They say we should find the inverse of A of A is equals to three, five, four, seven. Okay. Yeah, this is the inverse value. Okay. So we're gonna use this. Uh, we're gonna use this rule. Okay. We're gonna use this rule. Okay. So the the A inverse will always be whatever that we okay. Let me let me just do it. Now we're going to use the rule A inverse is equals to, we start with writing A, three, five, four, seven. And then we're going to write the identity matrix, which is one, zero, zero, one. This is a two by two identity matrix. Okay. Now from here, what we are going to do is we are going to solve this such that this identity matrix comes to this side and this comes to the other side. Okay. Then whatever that is on this side is what we call the uh, inverse of that matrix. Okay. Now let us do this one. Uh, 
Let me see. Uh, this one I can multiply it by four, and this one I can multiply it by three such that they are the same. So I'm going to say, let me say three times R2, because I see this number is bigger than this one, uh, uh, minus four times R1, this should give me R2, okay? Three times R2 minus four times R1 should give me R2, okay? So which means if I multiply this by four, I'm going to get 12, multiply this by four, I get 20, multiply this by four, I get four, multiply this by four, I get zero, multiply this by three is 12, multiply this by three is 21, and then it's zero, then it's three, okay? So I'm gonna use this, yeah, values. So this will be given as, okay, don't write it like this. Let me just write it like that. Okay, so this is what's gonna happen. 12 minus 12, okay, three, five, one, zero. This one stays the same. The only one that is affected is R2. Oh, it's not easy. This is R2, okay, this is R2. Now, 12 minus 12, okay? I'm, I'm using these black written numbers, okay? The ones that uh, they've multiplied. 12 minus 12 is zero. Uh, 21 minus 20 is one. Zero minus four is minus four. Three minus zero is three. Do you agree, guys? Ne? So now we have, we have found the uh, 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 identity, uh, matrix identity here. Now we need to find this one to come here and then this one to come that side, okay? So let me do this. Let me say now, what if I say uh, R1 minus five times R2 should give me R1, such that these ones can give me a zero term here, okay? So, oh, I have to multiply this by five. So this becomes zero, oh, let me write it. This becomes zero, this becomes five, this becomes 20, this becomes, 20, this becomes 50, okay? So let us see what's going to happen, okay? Uh, now, it becomes, we said R1 minus that, okay? So it's three minus zero, which is just three. So zero, one, negative four, and three. This one stays the same, don't change. The only one that changes is R1. So it's three minus zero, which is three, five minus five, which is zero, one minus, minus 20, which is uh, one, one minus minus 20, yes. One minus minus twenty. That's twenty one. Okay. One minus minus twenty. That's twenty one. And then zero minus fifty. It's minus fifty. Okay. So as you can see, we are very close. Now let us take R one, and let us divide it by three to get R one. Okay. So we only divide the the, the 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 first row by three, and let's get our solution of one zero. Twenty one divided by three is seven. 15 divided by three is five, and then we get zero, one, negative four, and three. Thus, our inverse is given by seven, negative five, negative four, and three. Okay? Right. So guys, do you understand the idea behind uh, this? Yeah, a lot of work that we did here, okay? So it's just us understanding that uh, for us to find the inverse, we just need to have the original uh, matrix, the original matrix, then augment it to the matrix identity, which is in this case I2. Okay, let us try by three by three. A three by three is going to be a lot more and yeah, longer steps and everything else. But yeah, so guys, I do you understand the idea, or should I do another two by two example? Then we can go forward. What do you what do you suggest? Because I, I I'm trying to to finish. Uh, this thing such that we can be able to get our assignment, okay? So what do you suggest, guys? Should I have another example or should I do a three by three example then we can try that? What, what do you suggest? Uh, so you can do another example of two by two. Okay, Just... another example of two by two. Okay, my man. Okay, my man, I'll do so. Okay? Uh, oh, before, 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 before. I said, if if our inverse is true, né? if our inverse is true, then this checking method here, it should be true, okay? Meaning that A multiplied by A inverse should be equal to I2. What is I2? It's one, zero, zero, one, okay? Ma 
Okay. You remember the last session we did multiplication of indices, okay? I mean, multiplication of matrices. Now we're going to take this and multiply it by there, okay? So we're gonna have three, five, four, seven. Then we're gonna multiply this by seven, negative five, negative four, and three, okay? So let us have this. It's, it's always row multiplied by column, row multiplied by column, then row multiplied by column, row multiplied by column, okay? What I mean is three times seven, is 21, and then five times negative four, it's negative 20 already, okay? Now we come to this and then it becomes three times negative five, it's negative 15, three times five, it's 15. Then we can see that four times seven, it's uh, 28 minus 28, okay? Because it's four times seven, and then it's four times negative, it's seven times negative four, which is that. And then it becomes four times, that it becomes negative 20, three times seven is 21. And as you can see, 21 minus 20 is just one, 15 minus 15 is zero, 28 minus 28 is zero, 21 minus 20 is one. That's our I2, and which tells us that this answer is one. Okay, okay, let us have another example. Okay, let us have another example. Uh, as I always say, there are many ways to kill a cat, there are many cats to kill. So you choose which one you want, okay? okay. Now, uh, let, us, let us have another example. Let me check if the text is good. Oh, let me wrap this out first. So the check method, you must make sure guys that, ah, okay. There's another thing that I wanna tell you about, okay? We have got, uh, let, me, let, me, let me grab that calculator first. I'm coming back guys, please give me two. Okay, okay. So if you own this calculator, you practically own the calculator. Okay, so I want us to check something, okay? There is this option in, the, in mode and setup, okay? Mode or setup, and then you're going to choose number six, then you're going to choose matrix A, then you choose what type of a matrix is that one. This is a two by two. We're gonna put it value three, Okay, five, four, seven. Okay, now we do have this. This is our matrix. We have inserted our matrix here, uh, which is that one. Then we press AC. Okay, when you press AC, we are going to go and say alpha A. I guess this is a matrix A. Okay, so we're going to have that to the. Okay, which one is power? Uh, not this one. Oh, no, not this one. No, not this one. Uh, I, I don't know which one is power here. I forgot to try this power. Okay, so we're gonna have this to the exponent. Oh, no, it's not this one. Uh, shift, let me see. Ah, it's not this one. Okay, uh, I'm, I'm trying to get a, a power thing here. Oh, where's the other color? Aha. Uh -huh. Okay, I, I don't see my calculator guy. But if you say, uh, oh, I thought somebody was saying something. Okay, we don't need to do much. Let's say shift and go to number four. Do you see in number four, there's written matrix there. Eh? We go to the matrix. We can see that it can tell us the determinant. It can tell us the transpose and uh, the answer for that matrix and everything. Now let us press three it will tell us what type of matrix we have. It's a three, five, four, seven, which is our number here, okay? So now I want us to go and find A inverse. A inverse is given by A, I can't remember which one is power. Uh, this thing of mine. Uh, oh, is this one actually? A to the power negative one, okay? A to the power negative one is given by the A inverse. Uh, where is it? Where is it? Uh, yeah, but guys, you will play with this thing and see which one is which one, which one, which one, okay? 
I was just showing you that this calculator can solve the inverse. Okay. All right. Let me do an example. But this calculator, guys, it will tell you if whether the inverse is true or not. It will tell you if, yeah. Just, just play through the calculator, guys. If you do have this one, okay. If you have this one, uh, I'm telling you, okay, you will do wonders. Okay. Let me take an example. Let me take an example. Uh, okay, let me say now I'm given A. Uh, I think I like eight, I think I like six, I think I like five, and I think I like four. Yeah, simple. Eh? All right, so this is what's going to happen now. We are going to have our A inverse. I don't like writing this. Let me write this like this. Let me write A, I2, which is the identity matrix of a two by two matrix. So our A is eight, six, five, four, A, A, augmented by one, zero, zero, one. Okay, so we're going to take this, this side, this, that side. You remember what we're doing, guys. Ne? So let me see. Uh, there is no number that can divide both of them. So which means I'm going to say, since this one is bigger than this one, uh, which one is bigger? Is six times four greater than six times five? Nah, smaller. So I'm going to say five times R1 minus eight times R2, okay, which is R2. Right. So, what I mean is, oh, before, this is what I like to do, guys. You know how, how I do my, my, my calculations. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to ask myself, what is 8 times 5? It's going to be 40. And then what is 8 times 6? Uh, I think it's 48. And then uh, 5 times, oh, yeah, 5? No, no. Why, why do I say 8 times 6? It must be 5 times 6. Because I said 5 times R1. So 5 times 6 is 30. And then five times one is five and then it's zero. Then eight times five is 40, okay? And then you're gonna have eight times four. I think it's been, oh, it's 32, 32. Uh, eight, 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 16, 32, yeah. And then you're gonna have zero and then you're gonna have eight here, okay? So, okay, let me do it like this. I always like to have these numbers as a positive, okay? I try my level best to have them as a positive. So I will say, a times R2 minus five times R1, it should give me R2, okay? So R1 doesn't change. So we've got eight, uh, we've got eight, six, one, zero, eight, six, one, zero, okay? And then right here, we've got 40 minus 40, which is zero, uh, 32 minus 30, which is two, zero minus five, it's uh, minus five, and then eight minus zero is just eight. Okay, so as let me not speak, let me not jinx it. I don't like to jinx it. Okay, yeah. So the next part is now we're trying to get a zero here. Okay, the only way for us to get a zero here is if we can divide this by three or we can multiply this by three. If I is this the same, okay, so in say R1 minus. 3 times R2 give me R1 because I'm trying to have this part to be 0. 3 times R2, it means that here it's 0, it's 6. Uh, 3 times 5, it's negative 15. And then uh, 3 times 8, I think it's uh, 24. If I'm wrong, I don't know. No. Uh, now, what we are going to have is uh, 8. Okay, this one is the same. Let me all write the one that do not change. Okay. Now the, the next part I'm going to see eight plus zero is zero. Why minus eight? Eight minus zero is eight. What is it? Six plus six zero. One minus fifteen. One minus fifteen. One minus minus fifteen. That's sixteen. And then zero plus twenty-four. 0 minus 24, it's 24, okay? All right. Now, 
The next part is what? We're going to uh, divide this thing. You can divide everything by eight, everything by two. Okay? Everything by eight, everything by two. So I'm going to have R1 divided by eight should give me R1. And then R2 divided by two should give me R2. All right? R2. So that's, this means that you have one zero, and then you're going to have zero one. Already have found that solution. So what is eight? What is 16 divided by eight? I think it's two. And then 24 divided by eight, I think is negative three. Then we got to have negative five over two, and then eight divided by eight divided by two, I think it's four. And this becomes our solution. Okay. All right. So therefore, our A inverse is given by. 2, negative 3, negative 5 over 2, and 4, okay? Um, is there a question? Okay, uh, please mute yourself. Uh, yeah, please mute yourself. All right. Uh, now, let's check if this is true, okay? Let us check if this is true. Uh, Oh, oh, my, my, my camera just 10. This camera is not working. Let us check if this is true. I said for us to check is for us to say A times A inverse, it should give us I2, okay? A is given by 8, 6, 5, 4. Inverse is given by 2, negative 3, negative 5 over 2, and 4. This will be given by, now we're going to do the same thing. This multiplied by this, this multiplied by that is the upper part. This multiplied by this, this multiplied by that is the bottom part. So the upper part is given by eight times two, which is 16. And then we're going to say six times five over two. So five over two, six, three times that is 15, it's minus 15, okay? And then we're gonna do the same thing, this times that. Eight times three, now, I don't know what is eight times three, guys. I think it's 24. And then uh, eight times three, okay? Six times four, I think it's 24 as well, because it's 12 times two, uh, which means it's 24, okay? So minus 24. All right. Oh, no, no, no. This one is a positive. This one is a negative. That's 24, okay? So we're going to do the same thing. We take this one, multiply it by this one, okay? So five times two is 10, and then uh, minus minus four times five over two. So the two cancels two, how many times does two go into four is two, two times two is 10, so it's minus 10. And then the last one is five times three is negative 15. And then four times four is 16, okay? So the solution hence becomes uh, 16 minus 15 is one, 24 minus 24 is zero, 10 minus 10 is zero, negative 15 plus 16 is one, and this is equals to by two then our solution is to be, okay? Are we fine, guys? If I move fast, tell me. If, <clears throat> I, yeah, okay. Now, now let us take the example for I3, okay? Let us do a three by three and I3, okay? Three by three and I3. Are we fine, guys? But I don't expect you to like master this thing all at once. Uh, this is, this is, yeah. This is us trying to, yeah. Okay, so let me wrap this thing out. Okay, now let us have a three by three. Okay, let us have a three by three. Yeah, like, three by three. They, they, there are no slides for this, so like the other examples are in the textbook. The other examples for this thing? Yeah, like maybe the theoretical part of it, oh, there isn't. Like we really teach you, like uh, when you use those arguments, what not up until because it seems like you're moving fast than you know. Yeah. Yeah, my man. And I said to you, if if you feel like I move fast, you must tell me such that I move at the pace where it's suitable for everyone. But it is there in the textbook, okay? It's there in the textbook. Well, oh, uh, that one, that one, that yeah, one. That was prescribed. Yeah, the prescribed oh. textbook, yeah. Okay, sir. So. 
If the thing is, again, I'm working against time, you see. So I need to cover other methods of doing this thing, you see. So I, yeah, I'm working against time. So I need to move a little bit faster. But if, if you feel like you still don't understand it, you can, yeah, we can have some discussion in the group chat and then we can do it. Okay. okay. So you don't have to worry so much. I'll make sure that you understand this thing. That one also. Okay. Now, let us have a three by three. Okay. Let us have a three by three. Now, the, the idea remains the same, but now instead of having I2, we're going to have I3. Okay. And then the idea still stays the same. A inverse A will always give me I3. Okay. I3 in this case is given by 100010001. This is I3. So, lucky for you, you are only going to be given in terms of two by two or three by three. Okay, you will never get anything above that. It will never be four by 10, 10 by 10. No, you're only going to get it like this. Okay, that's, that's the lucky part about you guys. Yeah, so let me fix this. Okay, sorry about that, guys. Sorry about that. My camera keeps on changing. I don't know why. Okay, so let us have a three by three. A three by three is slightly longer, guys. Slightly longer. And it has, yeah. So let us just not make many mistakes. Okay. All right. So let me let me grab an example. Let me see. Our A is given by. Okay, let me see. I think I like one, two. Let me have negative one. Let me have negative two. One, one. Yeah, let me have something like this. Okay. Let me have something like that. Now let us have, let us find the D, okay? Now let us find A, I3, okay? A, I3 is given by A, which is one, two, negative one, negative two, zero, one, one, negative one, zero. So guys, if it doesn't work, just know that these numbers are chosen at random, okay? But this is matrices, they, they, they have to. It's a must. Okay. Now let us yeah, let us do the, the things that they have to be done. Um okay, let me say R1 minus R3 will give me R3. Let me say two times R1 plus R2 should give me R2. So I'm killing two beds with one stone, but I'm killing two stones with one bed. Okay, okay let's continue. Now, R1 stays the same because the only affected one is R3 and R2, okay? So it's one, it's two, it's negative one, it's one, it's zero, it's zero, okay? So as you can see, none of them repeats a, a thing that has changed, okay? What I mean is that there's no R2 here and there's no R3 here. So therefore I can just do them like this, okay? It only conflicts if I have R2 here and I have R2 here. It won't work, okay? You must have it one step at a time, okay? Okay, there was a check mark. Okay, now I'm going to have two times this. Okay, let me write it here. Two times R1, this is two, this is four, this is negative two, this is two. Okay, so I'm going to say this plus that, it gives me zero. Four plus zero, it's four. Negative two plus one, it's negative one. And then two plus zero is just two. And then zero plus one is one. And then it's just zero, okay? So we are done with this part where we, we found our R2. Let us find our R3. One minus one is zero. Two minus minus one. Two minus minus one. Uh -huh. Oh. Oh, I didn't see this. Sorry. Okay. Um, I said one minus one is zero. Two minus one is zero. Oh, two minus minus one is three. And then minus one minus zero is minus one. And then what are we having next is this minus that is one. It's zero minus zero. It's zero. It's zero minus one. It's minus one. Okay. 
So this is what we have here. Okay, so hey, it looks like it's a lot, but it's not. We're still going to work here. Uh, let me now have to kill this one and get a zero, okay? I want a zero here. What in that I get a zero? So for me to get a zero there, let me say, let me say three times R4 minus, oh, R3, no, R not R3. Three times R3 minus four times R2, it should give me R3, okay? So if that is true, then I'm gonna have zero. This is 12. This is, oh, I multiply this by three is negative three. This is six, this is three, and this is zero. And I multiply this one by four, it's zero, it's 12, it's negative four, it's four, it's zero, it's negative four, okay? So I'm just, for this one, I'm gonna have these two, the numbers that I've written at the top there. But before guys, this thing it says we have got that number. So let me take the right here. So that when it gets out, we do not lose the one, okay? We do not lose the one. Okay. So as I always say, guys, there are many ways to get cat and there are many cats to get away. So every man if you want to be, yeah. Now, the next piece, the next piece, we will have one, two, maybe one, one, zero, okay, this one is here. The next part is zero, 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 zero. 12 minus 12, and this becomes 4, making 1, 2, 1, 0. So I only need to add it. 12 minus 0 is 0. 12 minus 12 is 0. Negative 3 minus 4. Okay. Negative 3 minus minus 4, it's going to be 1. Okay. So now we have found the bottom part. Can you see it, guys? Now it can be a little bit exciting. And then 6 minus 4 is 2. 3 minus 0 is 3. Zero minus minus four is two. Okay. So you found a compact. One here, zero is zero here, zero. Okay. I spell it out. I know, guys. I'm sorry about that. So let's say I'm saying now, let me add R1, R3. Okay. Let's see what we are going to do. If, if I add R1 and R3, and I want R1. Okay. So which means I add the two. Let me see. Can I put R2 again? Because, yeah, let me just put R2. R2 plus R3, R2. Okay. So, yeah, I don't want us to have many steps. Okay. So R1 and R2 are the ones which are being affected. Okay. So if R1 is being affected, I must get one. Now, I said it's going to be R1 plus R3. 1 plus 0 is 1, 2 plus 0 is 2, 1 minus 1 is 0, okay? 1 plus 2 is 3, 0 plus 3 is 3, 0 plus 4 is 4, okay? And then the, the second part is R2 plus R3, this plus that is 0, 4 plus 0 is 4, minus 1 plus 1 is 0, 2 plus 2 is 4, it's 4, 0 plus 4 is 4, okay? So I get 0, 0, 1, and 2, 3, 4, okay? So guys, as I said, I'm right, I'm running against time. Or, yeah. Okay. Now, if you can, oh, now there's another part which we need to, okay. So I can say two times R1. Let me say two times R1, two times R1 minus R2 should give me R1, such that this becomes zero. Okay. I nearly left it at one. Okay. So if I multiply this by two, it becomes two, four, zero, twelve. Hey, I multiply this by two. How do I say two? It becomes six, six, and eight. Okay. Now we are, we are writing the last step. Okay. We are writing the last step. And I'm running out of speed. Ah, oh my God. Okay. Let me write it here. Okay. All right. All right. So I'm going to have <coughs> only R1 is affected. Okay. So which means zero, four, zero stays the same. Okay. Zero, zero, one stays the same. Everything in this side stays the same. Four, four, four. Two, three, four. Okay. Four, 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 two, three, four. Okay. Let me just move this a little bit. And then what I'm going to have here is 
sorry let me let me just fix this first guys okay because uh, this thing says this time. now i want you to look at this part we are going to say um r uh, uh, two times r1 minus r2 so it's going to be 2 minus 0 which is 2 okay and then we are going to say uh, 4 minus 4 which is 0 0 minus 0 which is 0 6 minus 4 which is 2 6 minus 4 which is 2 8 minus 4 which is 4 okay so if we can divide each and every term by 2 at the top divide by 4 at the second row so what i mean is r1 divided by 2 r2 divided by 4 then you are going to get our solution okay this is the last step so we're gonna have 1 0 0 divided by 2 it's 1 it's 1 is 2 so it becomes 0 1 0 and it becomes 1 1 1 and then becomes 0 0 1 and becomes 2 3 4 okay so therefore our matrix